Bumble Claude. Here I come. Mr. Playboy Universe. Hello. Make him a grand entrance. <laughs> Woo! Where are we? Oh shit, I forgot something. BRB. It's two cards. Welcome to the 20th episode. The 20th episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo! That's nothing. That's nothing. Wait, uh, wait till uh wait till the 50th and then the 100th and then the 200th. Wait till that happens. This is episode 20. And guess what? I got a new backdrop coming. It's on the way. On the way. I need to get a new light situation up in here. Now that I got the new backdrop coming, I need to get a new light situation up in this way. <sighs> Sailing. Takes me away. Oh. I love cords. I love cords. Let's take a look at the wetter. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. She's gonna pour. It's gonna spit rain. If it starts spitting rain and thunder and lightning, I'm gonna go out there with my waterproof camera. And I'll add it to this podcast. Excuse me. Don't be talking shit. I can hear what you're saying right now. Don't be talking shit! What's going on with my eye? Holy... F yeah, it's, it's it happens. Leave me alone. I'm gonna put some fucking glasses on. That's the whole reason I wear them. Gizmo, get off my glasses. I'm gonna beat you senseless. Senseless, senseless. Well, since I'm over here, since I'm over here, I might as well participate. Do you get when you fall in love? Nothing but cherry blossoms. I love chords. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the 20th episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Woo woo! Yeah, yo. Tony, yeah, yo. Okay. First thing, we got two cards. We got what well, we got a card and a sentence on the end and the other card. How lovely. But who says we have to jump right into those cards? Let's go search the web. I'm searching the web. So are, is anybody curious what the new backdrop's going to be? I looked on Amazon and I couldn't find shit. It was all garbage. So I went to a few different websites and it was all garbage. All I could find was garbage. Just garbage. This is better than all the garbage I found. And then I found a couple nice ones, but they were way too small. Way too small. You ever notice how many YouTubers write these books? Why is that? Why did that happen all of a sudden? Okay. 
Anyway, the backdrop I got, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to spoil it. Some of you out there are probably thinking, why don't you just get a green screen and make it whatever the fuck you want? Well, I don't want a green screen. I just want something, something, uh, something, uh, you know, catchy, but it's real and you can touch it. So that's what I was looking for and that's what I want. But I never did find that. So I did end up buying a green screen. It was a really stupid way of uh, telling the story. But I I did buy a green screen. So it's going to be whatever the fuck I want. Whenever I want. I guess. <laughs> I didn't want to do it that way. Because green screens look pretty cheesy. Unless you got like a really good setup. And I don't have like a really good setup. I have an okay setup. Come on, Rain. Come on, Rain. I want to play a song real quick. <laughs> I won't play it for too long. And I don't think... Um. Well, yeah, it, it's definitely copywritten, but... It's Quasimodo. Come on, feet. Come on, feet. Come on, feet. Come on, feet. Okay, that's enough. I can't play anymore, or else. I'm pretty sure 30 seconds is all you're allowed. Oh, wow. Well, I love the comments. I have such respect for the art in this. It is good. I'm not saying it's a bad song. <clears throat> but I know I just knew because of how uh how of how underground and unknown and uh strange the video is. Everyone's going to pretend like it, it has so much meaning. Which I'm sure it has some meaning, but it's... People make it out how... People, you know, people make it out how worse than it is. Uh, what am I doing? on the internet I'm just searching through YouTube here when I should be doing a podcast it's the 20th episode of the dynamite gizmo podcast we got a new thumbnail design I figured this is and this was my plan from the beginning was do the dynamite gizmo presents dynamite gizmo podcast that was the thumbnail for right up until episode 18 that's what I wanted to do. Just have that kind of thumbnail. And then once I got to around the 20th episode, I'd switch it over to to this. Whatever. I, tip, I pick a shot out of... Uh, let's, let's, use, let's use this for this thumbnail. <laughs> That's a great one. Yeah, baby! Or maybe this one. <laughs> so this is, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Is just uh, make some crazy ass faces and use that for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh man, it looks gray and miserable outside. Even though that's what I like, that's what I like. That's what I want. Mitch Hedberg, who remembers Mitch Hedberg? Everybody, give a quiz app. Mitch Hedberg was a great comic. Had a heroin overdose. Passed out. Passed away. If you're not familiar with his uh, comedy, go check it out. Because it's fucking... It's pretty unique and it's pretty funny. It'll make you... Uh, it'll make you giggle at least. I watched his comedy special... 
and uh, he didn't get a, a crazy amount of laughter. He had to work really hard, and they didn't actually start laughing until his his time was up, and he was like, screw this, I'm going to keep on going, and he kept on going, and then that's when they started, he, he was able to pick them up. Took him a while, though, because it was such a, it was a strange type of comedy that no one had seen before or heard and he pulled it off he pulls it off really well but he cannot pull it off anymore because he is dead he is dead meat gosh you would think the 20th episode I do something special but I guess I guess <laughs> The only thing I really got is running out in the rain. <laughs> if it does rain, which it really does look like it's going to rain. It is m- m- miserable. I'm going to show y'all. Let me just move this off to the side. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me just unplug this. Unplug that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Let's take a look outside. Let's take a look outside. Here we go. Okay. Is that... Does that look like gloom and doom? That's gloom and doom, I'd say. I heard the thunder. Okay, here's, now we gotta fucking line it back up. God damn it. Nice one! Oh, this isn't so hard. Welcome to the shittiest podcast on the internet. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the shit podcast. I'd like to welcome you to the shit podcast. Oh, fuck you! No! Come on! Oh my god, this is taking so long! Yes! That's the ticket. Carefully. <clears throat> and then careful. Come on, baby, light my fire. Bop! Yeah, I hear the thunder. I hear the thunder. Jesus, Lord, thunder and mercy. Now I gotta f- flip the viewfinder around. Ah! Uh, welcome back. All that for nothing. But I can hear the thunder. Ooh. Speaking of thunder, I'm getting hungry. Who's got some food out there? Give me some food. Mail it in the mail to me. Mail me some food. I want some of that. That's my impression of a homeless person. Uh, Speaking of being homeless, uh, you know what it's like being in debt? Being in debt is like being homeless. Because you never have money. Whenever you get money, it has to go into the big pile of debt. Boom, 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 boom. You put, you contribute to this pile of debt with the money you gain. To, uh, to, uh, to, dec- to decrease the pile. You're adding money to decrease. You know what I'm trying to say. It's a crassy thought. And I wanted to say it. 
you're contributing you've you've ran out of money you got so much debt that's everyone I don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna skip this topic and we're gonna go on to hiccups what pisses you off more than uh, grandma without her pills hiccups I've had hiccups so bad before where they hurt and they happen so constantly that it just pisses me off. I get angry and I start stabbing people. I go find a knife. I go run out in the streets and I start stabbing people. I've probably killed about 10 million people. That's a complete joke, obviously. I don't even... Are you allowed to make those kind of jokes on the YouTube now? I don't think so. Come on, rain. Let's see some rain today. Let's see some gravy train. Let's see some rain today. Fuck, we got a lot of topics to get through. Shit balls, McGee. <laughs> Trying to find new ideas for podcasts. That's the next tick. Uh, you know how I find ideas for podcasts? I usually sit down on the couch and I watch other podcasts. That's how I get my... <laughs> it sounds like I'm just ripping every podcast off, but it, the ideas that I hear on other podcasts make me think of ideas that branch off. Of the idea that they're talking about. So I don't completely talk about. What other people are talking about. Sometimes it gets similar. And things get mixed in. But uh, I don't ever rip. Off another podcast. (laughs) What the fuck is wrong with Ethan? <laughs> you know Ethan Clyde from uh, H3? You ever notice how he's he always walks like a fucking maniac? And he's got his trousers pulled up? What's going on there? I always wonder if that's how he actually walks. Or if he's just playing. If he's just playing around. Or, if, you know, he actually walks like that, but he's really hamming it up in the videos. So his actual walk is pretty much that, but a little less hammed up. Because he does have a bit of an awkward body shape. But I also have an awkward body shape. His is becoming less and less noticeable. Because I'm watching more and more H3 videos. Notice how monotone I am? It's great. It's all part of the episode 20. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. It's because my window's open. I should have shut the window. Window close. I don't like people listening to me. So I'm going to say, fuck it. You will listen to me. And I'll listen to you. Baby, please don't call me a Jew. Nothing like having a microphone that can extend all the way to Paris. I've been there. I've been to Paris. Once. For a couple of days. Ran around. Saw some French puss. Literally. French women peeing on the streets. Saw lots of that. I also saw cigarettes. They like to smoke. There's a whole lot of graffiti. Um, and homeless people. And lots of garbage. <laughs> there was garbage everywhere. Um, what's that one tower bridge thing called? The Tour de France? No. Oh, what is that thing called? I don't know, but I was there, and I was also in the Louvre. I talked about this already. I saw Mona Lisa, 
Or so they say it was Mona Lisa. It could have been a fake. But I mean, it was behind some pretty thick ass glass. And there was two security guards there. And they had big machetes and machine guns. No, they didn't. But they were bodyguards there. Armed and ready to go at any second. What's the shirt I'm wearing? Oh, I've wore it multiple times in the podcast. Yeah, it's the comfiest shirt I have. It's a cat wearing a hat and sunglasses, just like me. But I don't got no go chains like this. Boop, boop. It's comfy. It fits me well, okay? I told myself I wasn't going to wear it in the podcast for a long time. till at least episode 32. And look at this, I didn't even make it. We're only at episode 20, and I'm still wearing the goddamn shirt. I can't wait to change this background. Oh. Ethan brought up this, I, I was watching, you know, so I was watching H3. Ethan brought up the, well, how old was he? I don't know, some guy in his 40s wants to be a six-year-old girl. A guy in his 40s wants to be, um, he wants people to uh, look at him as a six-year-old girl and treat him as a six-year-old girl. Um, and... People are accepting it and doing it. But I was just thinking about it. What, uh... I'm really shitty at this. <laughs> Holy fuck am I shitty at this. It's because I put these stupid topics... That <laughs> I say this every fucking episode. And then I say exactly what I'm saying right now every episode. I gotta stop writing these shitty fucking topics. Either that... Or just don't do any topics. And just fucking go with the flow. Say whatever comes onto my mind. But this guy who wants to be a six year old. Is a lunatic. And why should we have to. Let him do this. Or maybe he's not a lunatic. Is it a bad idea? Should we just let people do whatever they want? Maybe. Sure, it's awkward, but it's o- is it only awkward because we're making it awkward? If I look at this 42-year-old guy, and he's like uh, wearing a tutu and playing with Barbies and saying stupid shit, um, I'd feel awkward. But uh, if everyone else on the planet actually acted the way they truly wanted to, then uh, it wouldn't be a big deal. And there'd be people running around pretending they're, they're tigers. There'd be people pretending they were glasses of orange juice. Like that guy, I think I told the story, the guy who was stuck on acid and he thought he was a glass of orange juice. <laughs> and he was walking around town and he fell over and he spilt all, all over the sidewalk. Uh, but there'd just be a bunch of lunatics running around. But that would be normal. Is it going to come to that? We can just identify as whatever gender. At least in Canada you can now. If I want... It's a law that if I want to go to my workplace and say, you bitches got to call me a bitch because I want to identify as a bitch. <laughs> I wouldn't, you don't say it like that. Um, then they have to. And then you could get a woman type job. 
Maybe I shouldn't say that because femini- feminist people don't like that. But I mean, women are uh, genetically and biologically uh, built smaller than uh, men. But there are women that are stronger than men. But uh, not all of them. But I'm no expert on this. I'm only episode 20. So, uh, don't get your bosoms in a knot. Get your schmoosoms in a thought. Oh, VCRs. Great topic of discussion. Good job, Justin. VCRs. What's a VCR? Um... Well, before there were Blu-rays, there were DVD players. Um, Before there were DVD players, there were VCRs. VCRs all night. Get yourself a VCR. In black rectangles with circles of tape. You had to rewind the movie before you could watch it. Uh, you had to rewind it before you brought it back to the uh, blockbuster. Sometimes. That, then eventually they didn't really care. They had a crazy rewinding machine. You drop the movie in the slot outside the blockbuster. So you could, even if they were closed, you could just still drop it into that slot. And now blockbuster is no more. What the fuck happened? What is going on with this planet? Well, it was it was going to happen eventually. But I used to love Blockbuster. Go there, rent an N64 game. Have no idea if it would be good or bad. They usually sucked unless it was so then you didn't trust any of the games unless it was Mario Party. They either sucked or they didn't work. That's my VCR story. I have a VCR. They're garbage. Just fucking destroy it and throw it away. There's, I don't see any use for them. The only use I see is if you have old VHS family home tapes. Uh, converting them into into DVDs. Then convert the DVDs into... Uh, Digital file. I guess once it's on a DVD, it's digital, but... Take it from the DVD and put it on a thumb drive or some shit. Get rid of the VHSs. So after you take all the footage you want, then take your VCR outside and just destroy it. Smash the fuck out of it. It'll feel good. That's my VCR story. Steve Harvey is an idiot. I don't usually call people an idiot, but Steve Harvey is an idiot. I only call him an idiot because he said... Um, what did he say? Atheists have uh, no moral compass and they are idiots. He doesn't even like, uh, he will not communicate with them. He said the word idiot. This podcast is shit. I am such a shitty podcaster. All I'm saying is that Steve Harvey said atheists are idiots. Are idiots. So I'm saying to you, Steve Harvey, you are an idiot. For calling atheists idiots. Someday I'll get this podcast thing handled. As for right now. I'm like a sinking ship under a blue bus. And I'm going down. Someday. I will rise above. 
and I will have all the pies I could ever want. Because I fucking love pie. What else we got? Oh, there's a new backdrop on the way. Woohoo! That's one of the things on the card. Fuck you. I'm fucked life wise if no YouTube money. That's right, bitches. <laughs> if I don't get none of that YouTube money, I'm going to be totally sunken into the bottom. So, uh, that's why I'm doing so shitty. I'm a shitty YouTuber, but I've been on YouTube for so long. That's the problem. Mm. That's the problem. Mm. I don't upload consistently. I have good ideas, and then I act on them, but I'm shitty at executing them. And then when they get finished, I'm like, fuck this, I don't want to do it anymore. But these podcasts, I've done 20 of them. I think that's the most of anything I've ever done. So let's see if I can keep the keep the boat rolling. Keep the shit going. Moo, oink, oink, moo, cluck, woof. We went through uh, everything. That's everything. Brief history of the universe summed up in one and one and a half cards. Not even. Ah, welcome to episode 20. Woo! Squeeze them titties. Dum, 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 dum. You expect me to make money off shit like this? Yeah. Think again, homeless. I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to be the homeless YouTuber. I'm going to be outside. Plugging my laptop in into whatever outlet I can find on the street. And uh, I'm going to be recording off of a... Well, doing exactly what I'm doing now, except I'll be on the street. And then I'll go to Starbucks and get some Wi-Fi. Upload. And then that's what I do every day. I could have a daily podcast. That wouldn't be too bad. But then the winter would come around and I'd get cold. Eh. We'll sink that ship when it gets here. It's pretty much here, though. It's right around the corner. Bye! Fuck you.